So today I'm going to discuss a very interesting topic and most asked questions will be from this topic only in thermodynamics especially. So let us discuss a most important concept which is called as heat engine and refrigerator. So first let us discuss about what is heat engine and how does it works. See here, uh, this is a source and that is a sink. Generally this is a hot reservoir, this is a cold reservoir. So from the hot reservoir, the engine will absorb the heat, it does certain work work is done by the engine in this case and the remaining heat will be sent to the cold reservoir which is called as a sink. So this is the first thing which is happening in the case of heat engine, try to understand this one. So this engine will do the work here, engine will do the work. But in the case of refrigerator, in the case of refrigerator it is vice versa, reverse will be happening here. Here work, work is done on the engine, work is done on the engine we can say. So here we are going to do the work on the engine and the engine will absorb the heat from the sink and that heat will be sent to the source which is a hot reservoir once again and this is a cold reservoir, that's it. So the difference here is, here engine will do the work by absorbing the heat and the remaining heat is sent to the sink but in the case of refrigerator on the engine if you do the work this engine will absorb the heat from the cold reservoir and it will send to the hot reservoir which is called as a source. So let us see what is going to happen here. We are going to apply the Kirchhoff's law in this case. How are you going to apply Kirchhoff's law? Try to understand here. So uh, this is Q1, this is W and this is Q2. So Q1 and W are meeting at the junction and Q2 is leaving the junction. Therefore we can write Q1 which is equal to Q2 plus W which are leaving the junctions. Now W can be taken as Q1 minus Q2. Whereas in the case of refrigerator if you observe, here W and Q2 are meeting the junction. W and Q2 are meeting the junction and Q1 is leaving the junction. This is called as a junction here. Okay, So this is considered to be the junction. Therefore as Q2 and W are meeting they will be written here and Q1 is leaving the junction which is written here. Therefore W can be taken as Q1 minus Q2 that's it. So therefore in heat engine we will measure what is the efficiency. We will measure the efficiency of the heat engine. Generally efficiency means it is the ratio of output by inputs and what is the output in the case of heat engine? Work done is going to be the output and the input is Q1. But we all know that W is nothing but Q1 minus Q2 and this is again Q1. Can you write this as 1 minus Q2 by Q1? Yeah, you can write like this very easily and you also know that Q1 is equal to MST1 and Q2 is equal to MST2. So if you substitute these values here, then you'll be getting 1 minus MST1 by MST2, MS, MS gets cancelled. This implies that efficiency is equal to 1 minus this is T2 and this is T1, okay, Q2, T2 and Q1 is T1, so T2 by T1, okay, so we got the efficiency here, the first uh, formula is this one and the second formula is this one. So uh, we understood what is the meaning of efficiency and what is the derivation of efficiency. Now uh, we shall discuss about, this is a refrigerator. In this refrigerator, we will find out what is the performance we call in refrigerator as coefficient of performance. Okay, how this refrigerator is going to perform? As I said, work is done on the engine, engine will absorb the sink and it will send to the source. Okay, let us take an example of our split AC in our houses. So split AC here, uh, you, you know AC will be inside our houses. So it will absorb the heat from this room and the, and the machine which is having a fan which is the back side of this room which is outskirts that will send the heat that is taken as a hot reservoir and the split AC which is inside our rooms is taken as a cold reservoir. So therefore coefficient of performance is given by letter beta in this case. So what is this beta? Here this will be reverse to that of efficiency. Here the heat energy absorbed to the work done. Okay, sorry. This is the heat energy absorbed to the work done. So what is going to happen here? Uh, you all know that uh, Q2 is the heat energy absorbed and we are going to do the work according to this concept that is Q1 minus Q2 and you all know Q1 is nothing but MST1 and Q2 is nothing but MST2 therefore beta if you substitute these two these values here you will be getting MST2 by MST1 minus MST2 this implies that beta is equal to T2 by T1 minus T2 so we got the value of Neta and beta. So let us have certain 
relation between these two what is the relation between these two we shall discuss now so now we shall discuss about what is the relation between Neta and beta. So you all know that Neta is nothing but 1 minus Q2 by Q1 and you can also write Q2 by Q1 taken to left side will become 1 minus Neta to the right side. So from this we are getting this one here. You all know about that. And you know what is coefficient of performance just now we got is nothing but Q2 by Q1 minus Q2. We got this relation. Dividing numerator and denominator by Q1 will be getting to the whole equation. Let us see what you are going to get now. This is Q2 by Q1 and here this is going to become 1 minus Q2 by Q1 if you divide with this Q1 here. So what are you going to get from this? You will be getting beta Q2 by Q1 can be written as 1 minus Neta and 1 minus Q1 Q2 by Q1 can be taken as Neta. So hence we got the relation between beta and Neta. Okay. So if you want to listen to the problems, if you want to see the problems and learn the problems which are asked in previous year, you can go to the sorts short section of my channel you will get plenty of problems based on this thank you very much have a nice day baby